we're back to Police Quest 3, The Kindred. And we need to... Uh, we kind of found out that the guy that had that Bronze Star is dead. And you we now see? know his case member. So we need to uh, deal with this. Because some guy was wearing his necklace. A Bronze Star on a necklace. So let's um, review a case. Actually, you know, something that we probably should do first that I should have probably already done, like before we even did this, we didn't put that into evidence. Oh, crap. So I might want to go put the chain, since we've used, looked at it now. I'll catch up with you later. I don't care. We're best friends, aren't we? No. We're... We should be friends. Mm, I think we should be enemies. <laughs> Okay, so let's go down into the, uh, we gotta go down to the basement. Good. <laughs> I don't think we have to actually, uh... Work today? We, no, we don't have to put our gun in the thing because we don't have a suspect. That's why you put the gun in there. Just so a suspect can't grab your gun. So, since we don't have any... No. Let's beat the guy. Go in in, in the thing. You need to talk to him first? Maybe I do. You gonna get some bodies to lock up or what? Maybe I... Maybe it makes no sense without doing that first. Find out. Uh. 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 Hmm. Maybe we don't have to turn it in. They patched it. <laughs> uh, no. You're supposed to do it. Uh. Maybe there's a different place. No, this is where you book things. But we're not booking anyone. But this is where you book things. I don't know. That's where I am. I'm there. Where else would you go? I don't know. Does it? I'm in the garage. Maybe I can go in here. That's the problem. Went in the wrong one. <laughs> now we can give him the stuff. What's the case number, Sonny? Uh, Name? Marie Bonds. Description of evidence. Bronze Star. Location found. Scene of attack. Mall parking lot. And disposition? Secure as evidence. I don't know. Well, I forgot that, that that's where you take the person's stuff that's getting arrested. This is the actual evidence booking. Hello. It's okay. It's late. What case number, Sonny? The same one. Name. Okay, we've already done this. Clutched in the victim's right hand. Is that all we gotta turn in? That's all we gotta do. Now I'll remember to not go in the wrong one the rest of the time. Because I remember I tried to go in here the first time we went and it was like, oh, it's the right, the right one. So they were out to lunch. <laughs> you can't turn in evidence if they're eating. We're big enough to have all this, but not big enough to have someone cover lunch. <laughs> it's like the post office. Sorry, just... <laughs> <laughs> help, help, I'm being repressed. <laughs> No, don't use the phone. 
N- no, Sonny. No, Sonny. Who are you going to call? No one. Ghostbusters. There we go. Use the computer, Sonny. The computer. The com- computer. Warp gurp. You have eaten the thing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so let's review a case. Okay. So let's do one nine nine one three seven. This is our case with Marie. Searching. Oh wait, no it's not. Derp. This is the Bronze Star case, isn't it? Yeah. So Clifford Jones, white male. Let's come back to this. Do them in order so that it makes sense. Let's do ours first. So that we're reading it in a... Mm-hmm. We don't want to give away <laughs> what that's... There's a pattern. There we go. Okay, so... White th- This was March 30th, 1991. Yesterday or today? Yes, it was yesterday. Yeah. yeah, and you know she was born in 1955. Whew. Five years older than my or younger than my mother. She's only 110 pounds. Well, yeah, remember she used to be a uh, yeah uh, yeah a dancer. Uh huh. So the disposition victim in po- coma with multiple stab wounds. Weapon used puncture wounds measuring six inches by one and a half inches indicate the weapon is a dagger. So not it wasn't a. Uh, little knife uh the evidence analysis as you can see where we put it in there and the summary the suspects were frightened off during the attempt on victim's life and they say the modem was robbery Uh Uh, uh-huh which may or may not be the case right i'll believe that when i see it now let's look at the one that we were looking at before off of the murdered man that had the bronze star Okay, so you see cause of death, lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds, puncture wounds measuring six inch by one half inch. One and one half yeah. Yeah, in the case. Uh, yep. Hair clutched in victim's hand, lab analysis, blood type A negative. Incisions in the shape of a pentagram were located in the lower left quadrant of the torso. <gasps> oh. The pentagram was carved after death. Summary was, the suspects during the process of a burglary were interrupted by the victim. A struggle ensued and the victim was murdered. They're saying burglary, but I don't think so. They're carving symbols into people. Yeah, I I don't really either. So. John Childs, do they still work there? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to look. So, more people murdered. Lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds. Same size yeah, dagger. Same size dagger. DNA analysis of hair clutched in victim's hand was a negative. Okay. Incisions the shape of a pentagram were located in the lower left quadrant of the torso and was carved after death. No other existing homicides with same MO. Okay, that's obviously not true. Unknown cult has possibly moved into the area. The motive was robbery or real ritualistic sacrifice based on the pentagram. Stolen property, military bronze star, serial number 09987. Which we have now. Yeah, we've already turned in. So we're connecting cases. Correct. So there's not a whole lot. We don't get very many points for any of this. This is kind of just you discovering that there is... Uh, a deeper story here. Mm-hmm. Guess it's time to call today. Before you close out your shift, you head over to the hospital to see Marie.
We didn't have to drive there? And notice, we only stayed at work like 11 minutes. That's weird. Which is inaccurate. Flowers. I do notice a flower shop. Are we going to purchase some? Can I get you something, Sarah? Oh, my. I'm visiting my wife. Oh, I'm sorry she's ill. Perhaps a nice fresh flower would cheer her up. Ma'am, what happened to your voice? Do you like this flower? We have lovely roses today. Ladies do like roses. I'm gonna fuck with that voice <laughs> so much. I think I'd like a rose, please. Good choice. Our roses are particularly fresh and beautiful today. Here you are, sir. That'll be two fifty. Thank goodness I have ten dollars. You pay the florist and take the rose. The receptionist looks friendly enough. It's a computer. <laughs> In case you don't know. It's the front desk. It's the front desk. It's the front desk. I'm surprised it's not saying, you're not close enough. It's an elevator. It looks like an elevator. Not it is, it looks. May I help you, sir? I'm looking for my wife, Marie Bonds. Could you please tell me what room she's in? Please. Oh, yes, I said, your please. wife has been in blah, blah, blah. It was room one at 307. But it was just like... <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've got, I gave you that number, now I'm walking over here so I don't have to talk to you anymore. <laughs> okay. Keeping track of that. Yeah. Marie's eyelids flutter, almost as though she could hear her music box. Oh. Don't quit. I was like, eh. Don't stop me now. No. We're not having such a good time right now. No, we're not. Oh. Oh, her finger moved. Mm -hmm. You could swear that you just saw, saw Marie's finger move. Like how this one stays. And then one more thing to do. We're going to pull the plug. You, well, no. You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. I'm going to spend all her money on my hobby and you, buy a big boat. <laughs> you softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. She's like, don't spend our money on a boat. I need to decorate my bedroom. Okay. I don't think there is a boat involved in this. No, I'm just trying to, like, get her goat so she wakes up and tells us not to spend the money. That's what well, happened to my parents. He's a policeman. I don't think he's going to be getting a boat. Feeling physically and emotionally drained, you drive home. You haven't had a good 24 hours. No. How did it take that long? I guess we stayed at the hospital long. Yeah, time. that's what I assume. Notice, since you can tell this is Jane Jensen, because she likes the day system. Like Gabriel Knight there with the day system. Is this before Gabriel Knight? Oh, yeah. She she did well on Gabriel This Knight. is before King's Quest VI. You go through the motions of getting ready for work. This is her first job, really, with Sierra writing. She did well. Interesting that a cult might be involved in this one, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you mean, this one, too? Well, like the Gabriel Knight. Oh, <laughs> well, the, yeah. Like, things that she's dealt with. I see what you're saying. I thought you meant the other Police Quest games. No, I was like... No, just the stuff that she yeah, worked on. Yeah, she has definitely had voodoo cults before. But, once again, you just have to wait and see. Alright, so let's go back to Homicide. Once the elevator gets here. This takes longer than half the dialogue stays open. It's so nice that we've kind of... It has a mix of Police Quest 2 and 1. Whereas you don't always have to drive. 
Now, this is my uh, afternoon bonds. We're uh, best friends, aren't we? Did you notice? I was just on my way to the locker room. I'll, I'll be back in a minute if you need me. She got something out of her desk. Yep. Is she doing drugs? It's locked. Mm-hmm. So, Pep is doing something that she's not supposed to be doing. I meant to, to do that. <laughs> I meant to do that. Get up, Sonny. You pick up and read the message. Bonds, a Carla Reed called for you, said she saw the newspaper article about Marie. Better get on over there. I think she may have something for you. Strange address, though. 325 South 2nd Street. That's the old industrial park. Something smells fishy. And if you look, there's like... Oh, by the way, there's the map. The graph on the wall charts homicides for the past three years. Like inflation, the crime rate rises steadily. What is this? There's a brown bag sitting on the desk. It's probably someone's lunch. Uh, give me the... No, take the lunch. No, take the lunch. No, take the lunch. Actually, I guess I don't get the lunch yet. But you do get the lunch of... You can't stop crime by ripping up the graph. <laughs> uh, we will need that bag of lunch later. But I guess... I don't think Is we... It's just too early to get it. Oh, I know. Uh, we bring that lady back with us. And we give her the lunch then. Not... I was thinking you give her the lunch now. We don't know we need to give her the lunch yet. Correct. So he's not going to take it because... He doesn't seem like there's a reason to do so. Oh, we have to drive? Oh, that's right. Duh. I, got, I like how we just get in there. And it's like, dude, you're, you're not your homicide detective. Get in the plane car. You're in the plane clothes. Ugh. Is that our cop buddy? Yeah, she's our Wait partner. Wait for me, Sonny. Remember? I'm your best friend, remember? Yeah. It's Cedric. I'm Actually, Police Quest Cedric. Ugh. I wish we had Keith back. All the pentagrams have caused Cedric's soul to... <laughs> uh, this Carla Reed lives on 325 South 2nd. That's not a residential area. This better not be someone's idea of a joke. Oh, 325 South 2nd? That's a bunch of old abandoned warehouses. It is. So, industrial area is down on the bottom. So we're actually going the right direction. So we're going yes. southbound. And it, then when you get to River Street, you yeah, it's, turn right. It's like right here. Oh. Is where we... Is. So let's go ahead and go. Haven't done this in a while, so let's... Uh, Save on driving. We can actually... Don't forget you're going to have to stop at the bottom. Yeah, well, I'm going to slow down. Because it remember the rolling stop. I do. <laughs> oh, the music is so good. <laughs> you're not close enough. Boop. And we need to go this way, right? Right. No, we need no, to go no, right. no, shit! Adam, no! What have you done? I said right! You said left first. I don't think I did. I said we go this way, right? And I and said we're right. right. But as in not correct. Well, that's not what I was looking for <laughs> there, genius. I'm so sorry. And you're supposed to be the smart one. I knew what I meant. I <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> Somebody had to know. Honestly, like, if... I feel like this... And this was one of my complaints about a previous game, too. And my complaint about them with the mazes is they don't orientate you properly. I agree. This is completely wonky. Of yeah. what we're Like, our car doesn't change directions on the map. It right. just says at the bottom where you're moving. Now, are we going to have to turn up any street? No, we just have to stop somewhere around it. It's somewhere in this. I'm going to save now. 
It's somewhere in this 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 section here. I'm gonna probably stop in the middle of it, and then just get out of the car. Okay, I'm gonna wait till we're about halfway. You think you have to turn up Second Street? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. We'll find out. Let's uh oh. start the car again. This will be turning to the right. Yeah, this <laughs> is to the right. Now let's try that. Where'd your head go? Oh my. There we go. It's pretty late in the day, it's two fifteen. Yeah, he works afternoons in this in this game. Ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> Are you dead? May I help you, ma'am? Oh, she's asleep. A, s a pile of newspapers rustles alarmingly. What? Who, who, what's that? What, what do you want? Well, the good thing is, instead of scaring her half to death... Ma'am, I'm Detective Sonny Bonds of the Lytton Police Department. Yeah, so what you want from me? I ain't done nothing to nobody. You called and said you saw something at the Oak Tree Mall last night. I'd like you to come downtown with me and help us out. Maybe give us a description. I like how he thinks she's the one who called. And, and like, look how long that lasted. Oh, I'd, I'd love to go ride in one of them real-life squad cars, okay? Just help, help me put my stuff in the car. Uh, there's... <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, but there's just not enough room in the trunk for your cart. You'll have to leave it here. What? Leave my stuff? Oh no, I can't very well just up and leave my stuff. Stuff. Hey, there's only enough room in the car maybe for, maybe we'll have the cop stay here and watch your stuff. Nope. It wouldn't fit in the car. You decide to sue the old gal by securing her cart with your handcuffs. That's the ticket, Sonny boy. Let's go. I mean, that's her whole world. <laughs> yeah, that's... And look, we didn't even have to drive. They just took us there. Yay! Thank you, game! I need to sit and rest my aching bones, kiddo. This is where... You grab the lunch. You give the lunch to the lady. She obviously oh, needs it that's more. That's nice. Peanut butter and jelly! You guys are real gourmets, ain't you? Well, you know. We, <laughs> we're cops, so... Alright, so now... We have to get a description. Using the computer. Drawing composite. Oh, wow. Now, if you would give a general description. He was a mean-looking fella. All dark and dangerous. A real, real sour face with hawkish nose, sharp eyes. And so what you do is you have the little bars there that you slide? or hmm. See much different. Let's see here. We'll adjust that later. Let's do the sharp eyes. Yeah. What are sharp eyes? His eyes were small. Kind of like those. Kind of like that, though. Narrower and beadier. Not even close. Them's pretty boy eyes. His eyes were closer set. Hmm. 
What's the other one do? Oh, it just moves them up and down. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not those. That's too slanty. Now that's a little racist, but that's obviously, uh... Yeah. That reminds me of my niece. Those eyes look a bit sinister. Well... Too droopy. He had alert eyes. No, I said little beady eyes. Did <laughs> I say he was Oriental? Change it. Reminds me of my mother's eyes. Them's beady, but they're too far apart. Hmm, I don't think I can do anything about that. Maybe make the head smaller? I think. There we go. His eyes look okay. Hawkish, not button boy. That's a bit better, but I think it may have been narrower. I don't think that's it. He didn't have a pug nose, that's for sure. I don't know. Maybe I could, it could be, maybe that could be the schnoz. I don't know. Ugh. That's kind of like it, I guess. He didn't have a little Tweety Bird nose. No. Oh. No, that's not it at all. No, that's a little. I don't even man with a cute nose like that. I couldn't see up his nose like that. No, too flat. Aren't you listening to me? Close, but without those cavernous nostrils. No, oh, that's definitely not it. That's like a penis nose. That nose is way too big. A little too low. Uh. Yeah. Okay. That nose looks okay. Could be. He sure looked mean. No. Uh. Now that's a sour one. Didn't she say he was sour looking? Yeah, but she'll say it looks okay. trying to get it about even so that the, we don't have to deal with that <clears throat> didn't have his full lips oh wow those are woman's lips to me now nah, too full he had a tight mouth that's not it that looks like a leaf oh that <laughs> hmm, I don't think so I don't think he's pursing his lips I don't know could be definitely not just doesn't look right. Not a sweet mouth for his kind. <laughs> That's too precious to be for this fun. That mouth looks okay. That'll do for starters. Really? I'm gonna make... Sh That'll do for starters? That makes him look alien. I don't think that was the right... Because she always says it looks okay. Had high art. Oh, God. A unibrow. Too hairy. Did I say he, shrub he had shrubs for eyebrows? Change it. Tad bit more art. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that quick. That's all right. That's close, I think. Yeah, they're too narrow. Too high. So maybe... That'll do for starters. I guess that was it. The hair's too straight. It's kind of wavy. <clears throat> the 
History straight, kind of wavy. <laughs> That's uh, ooh. Oh. Wow, he looks like a rock star. Hair's too low. The hair's a little too low. That looks okay. <laughs> he had a he full had beard. Full beard. He's Santa Claus. That beard looks okay. Or it kind of looks like George Lucas. Oh. <laughs> mm, um, mm, I mm. love salads. <laughs> Would you like to? At the mall court. <laughs> the mall food court is sacrilegious. <gasps> That's the first time in this I entire know. series. Oh, no match. Hmm. What did we not get right? Because, let's see. Here. Could either be the eyebrows or we didn't really mess with the face much. His face is right. Okay. The eyes are okay. The nose is okay. The mouth's okay. So that's not right. No. What about the hair and the beard? Is it okay too? Hair's okay. Beard's okay. So it's just the eyebrows. He had to have some eyebrows. There was none there. She said really high arching. Too high. Wait, that one, go back. I wonder if we're supposed to lower that one because she said it was too high. You're probably right. Let's try that. There we go. Good job, Adam. Yay, we figured it out together. Because I was like, there oh. we go. That's him. That's the rummy. The one right there in the middle. I'll never forget his mean looking mug. All right. Convicted on two accounts of burglary in 85. Sentenced to five years in the state penitentiary. Paroled in 1988. And is currently serving three years probation. He has no wants. Note, Rockland associates with, and at one time was known to be a member of the cult, Sons of Darkness. It is... It is suspicion the cult deals in the sale of crack cocaine. Oh. Man, that sucks. Well. At least we found the guy. Let's see here. Reprint something or... I think that's all we had to do is... Because we got our points. Yep. So let's take her back. Take her back. Take her back. Talk to her, take her back. <laughs> I want to go home. He's like, okay, I'll take you home. Do we have to drive? Nope, it just takes her back. Yay. We need to get our... Yeah, we gotta get our cuffs. I'm going to bed now. Well, bless your heart, my cart's still safe. And she just leaves? <laughs> Got her cuffs. So we're... I'm not doing anything here. You notice Morales checking her watch. She suddenly says... Yo, Sonny. Drive me over to the mall real quick, would you? I, I gotta make a phone call. Grudgingly, you drive Morales to the mall. Sit tight, boss. I'll only be a minute. She's up to something. You notice that she's careful to take her purse with her. And in the next episode, we'll continue on. Bye, everybody. Bye. Something's fishy with that woman. Really fishy. She's a drug dealer. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, she's buying or selling. Or yeah, something. something's going on. She wouldn't be doing these things and locking up. And yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.